Hello everyone and welcome to scardia.com. Today's lecture is on antiphospholipid syndrome. I'm your educator Dr. Ali Imran and this is the outline of this lecture. In this lecture you will learn about what antiphospholipid syndrome is, why it is an autoimmune disorder and why it is an also an hypercoagulable state. Then we learn about its antibodies, that which antibodies are compulsory uh, to check for the diagnostic criteria and which are found in which area of the patient. Then we learn about its epidemiology and its prevalence, that what is the primary and secondary differences, uh, what is the catastrophic antiphospholipid syndrome is, and what its difference prevalence affects uh, other autoimmune disorders. Then we learn about exact pathogenesis of this disease along with the exacerbating factors that how they trigger the said pathogenesis. We learn exactly what its pathogenesis is, how it works, and which factors are involved and how they interact with each other. Then we learn about its clinical manifestations, both the venous thrombosis and the arterial thrombosis and its related consequences. Then we learn about the neurological manifestations. What are its neurological manifestations? why they occur, how they occur, and why they're important for us to examine them. Then we learn about the other manifestations. What are the renal, obstetric, and fetal uh, manifestations, why they're important, and why they're important at various stages. Then we learn about its diagnostic criteria. We learn what its laboratory diagnostic criteria is, what its physical exam diagnostic criteria is, and how they both complement each other and what must be fulfilled in order to 100% confirmatorily said that this person has antiphospholipid syndrome. Then we learn about its differential diagnosis, what other conditions can mimic the symptomology of antiphospholipid syndrome. Then we learn about its treatment, that what treatment we give after the first thrombotic event, which treatment is given during the pregnancy, and which treatment is given if the thrombotic events become frequent and recurrent. You can find the lecture on this disease along with other autoimmune diseases and other topics ranging from anatomy, biochemistry to the courses in surgery and medicine to literally thousands of lectures on medical education. You can even start your free trial on this website. Thank you so much for watching scardia.com.